The Vilfo router is a premium product aiming to replace the way users interact with their devices by simplifying the VPN experience. Can you benefit from this product, or is this something most of us can probably live without? Find out now, here on TechLore. First, what is generally the purpose of a home VPN router? Well, generally, it's to simplify using a VPN. Now, to clear the record in advance, in 95% of situations, using a VPN is no more complex than installing a program on your device. But, one of the most frequent VPN issues is trying to hook up non-standard home devices to a VPN such as video game consoles, televisions, and other smart devices without a standard operating system capable of running VPN software. You're typically required to configure your own router at home to accommodate these devices, and this requires a decent amount of technical knowledge with custom router firmwares, not to mention the likelihood of having to purchase a compatible router unless you planned ahead in advance. Another benefit to having a router with VPN support is it only counts as a one device. Most VPNs have a max number of simultaneous devices, and if you tend to max that out, well, this can mitigate that issue. The last benefit of using a VPN router is convenience and peace of mind. As you know, as long as you're hooked up to your home Wi-Fi network, you're protected. And this ensures any guests on your Wi-Fi or any new device won't need any additional configuration on the device itself. So how does Vilfo compare to a custom user-configured router? Let's get into the device itself. The router starts with ooh, a box, and it comes with the bare minimum of what you need. Don't expect long manuals, extra accessories, or anything else really on first opening. To be frank, my first experience with the Vilfo was slightly confusing, as the box came with very little instructions, and the setup guide was giving me a few issues. But, once everything was finally set up and ready to go, it was very smooth sailing with the router. I'd say presentation could be a bit better, and I know this is a nitpick, but presentation is very important for the target audience of this product. It's a premium price, and it's aimed at a group of people who want something that, you know, just works. Now moving to things that truly affect the service. How is using the router? It begins with a fairly straightforward setup. I didn't have many issues outside of some confusion with my Vovo credentials since I received a review unit. Once you're all set up, you get a beautiful portal with a lot of functionality, starting with some basic analytics, illicit devices with the ability to create groups and different devices or groups connect to specific VPN servers or none at all. There's the browser extension to bypass the VPN connection on a site-by-site -site basis from your device, port forwarding, some more stats, administrative settings and information, a list of providers to log in with, which is ever-growing, supposedly. You can directly download an open VPN configuration file from here, which is very unfortunately easier than most VPN providers make it for their users. There is a bypass function, some general settings, I wish these were disabled by default, and some network settings, notifications, open VPN settings, including an awesome kill switch, some parental restrictions, and user configurations. All in all, I'd say this covers over 95% of all settings and features most users not only look for in a router, but a VPN as well. It's not the most customizable thing on the planet, but they really nailed the balance of ease of use and customization. One of the most important factors of a router is its speed. Not only is wireless significantly slower than Ethernet, but adding a VPN to the equation can throw your traffic into Nutella. For testing, I attempted to implement both of these factors, so I connected to an AutoConnect VPN server on my laptop when using the MediaLink AC1200, and I connected to the AutoConnect VPN server on the Vilfo. The results? <laughs> well, here they are. The Vilfo with the laptop literally right next to the router gave us the speeds. 10 yards away with no interference already sees a pretty big hit on download speeds. 15 yards away with moderate interference, which in this case was a wall, dropped their download speeds over half from our original test. And lastly, 20 yards with max interference of a few walls saw even more performance hit, this time dramatically hitting the uploads as well. The VPN server was the same the entire time, meaning we can contribute this loss of performance to the router's range capabilities. For some comparison, the MediaLink AC1200 is just, in general, dope. This is your typical mid to high end router built for speed and range. Its original download speeds were quite a bit lower, but keep in mind it may have connected to a different VPN server as well as other factors. But as testing went on, speeds actually improved. 
Now, I'm not saying with this router speeds improve the farther you get away from it, but what I'm saying here is range doesn't even seem to be affecting this router, as we can rule out range as a factor in performance improvement. The conclusion here is we got our fastest speed using the Vilfo from zero yards away, but the Vilfo doesn't really handle range well, especially if download speeds are important to you. My final thoughts for the Vilfo are pretty mixed actually. I for one loved the amount of functionality built into the router, it surpassed some of the VPN clients themselves on settings, it offers all of this very simply and in an easy to understand fashion for a large group of people, and it was downright convenient. You can directly log in with your VPN service without having to handle open VPN profiles, configuring anything, and this adds a whole new level of convenience when it comes to easily switching servers on the router when needed. What I didn't like about the Vilfo was its price, which is a very, very high price for what it is, and the biggest drawback for me was its lack of range and in return speed. A major reason a lot of users use VPNs is to download, stream, and play games, which all require very low latency and high upload and download speeds. And unless you're playing with your gaming laptop two feet away from the Vilfo, you're going to suffer some issues. But luckily Vilfo is aware of this and it's very easy to use it with another router with significantly better connectivity. So if you want to go for a dual router setup, that's something you can do, but it's also going to go against the out of the box convenient ideal setup for the casual user. This, in my opinion, significantly minimizes the use case for a high number of end users, as advanced users will likely want a custom router, and noobs want a simple setup that just works. Overall, I would say this is Techler approved. This is something I'd recommend to almost all people in the audience, and it won't do them wrong. Just make sure you understand its shortcomings in advance, and once you finally get it set up, you will probably love how simple it is to configure your VPN. I want to thank Vilfo for sending this test unit over to the channel to make this review possible. They were told in advance very firmly before the review was performed that it would be harsh, and they still wanted an unbiased and transparent review to improve their product, so props to them. Similar to how my channel handles VPN affiliations, hardware is handled similarly. Vilfo, despite its flaws, is a product I have no issue recommending, and if you decide you want to pick one up, use the affiliate link in the description to help our channel out. Don't forget about our privacy and security communities to share in the discussions, and especially, do not forget to have a Lemurish day. Thank you for watching.